Now, maths and physical science have been phased out by some Western Cape schools due to, get this, low student enrollment. Between 2014 and this year, 26 schools phased out maths and 23 schools phased out physical science. According to Education MEC David Maynier, the COVID-19 uh, pandemic contributed to this. Some schools also had difficulty recruiting uh, qualified maths and physical science teachers. What is the government doing about this? Let's go to uh, reporter Monique Mortlock, who's in Cape Town for us, to tell us more. Monique, I mean, schools basically phasing out physical science and maths. This is something that was unheard of, uh, at least during the time that I was uh, still in high school. Have you spoken to government, whether provincially or nationally, about what they're going to do about this? Yes, provincially, the Western Cape Education MEC, David Mayneard, he said that the reason for the phasing out of maths and physics in some schools in the province isn't really only about the low uptake in learner numbers, but it's largely because of um, schools failing to attract um, teachers, educators who can teach the maths or um, physics and in, in some schools it just works out better to not have these subjects um, and to instead then just give maths lit or alternate subjects. And the MEC said that they are looking at or um, his department have implemented a five year math strengthening strategy. Uh, earlier this year, they implemented this program in which they are looking at teacher development. They are looking at um, re-energizing the, the curriculum and finding ways to encourage not only the learners to stick to maths and to want to continue with maths from grade through to grade 12 but also for for teachers themselves to stay in the stream and to um, continue to be motivated I spoke to two education specialists one is, um, is professor Ngetre from UWC she's a science professor and she was saying that one of the things that she's noticed because she does various outreach programs in impoverished areas like Kailicha is that learners in these um, in these areas are often the most neglected when it comes to the offerings that, that, that they get given to um, either get extra classes when it comes to maths and physics and because of this there is often a gap that gets um, a, a gap that just grows um, from grade 10 to 11 to 12 because learners start lagging behind and then by the time they get to grade 12 they just give up on on um, taking maths and they opt for maths lit because they believe that's their um, best chance at passing simply because there aren't enough resources for these learners to um, to study maths or, or to improve on their maths mark and what Professor Gethe also said is that when students come to her when they reach tertiary level she's noticed that there are fewer students over the numbers um over the years excuse me numbers have dwindled uh, of students going venturing into the maths and physical sciences and, and science as a whole and she attributes this largely to what's happening in schools um with many learners finding maths to be difficult or there there aren't enough qualified teachers uh, or mot and motivated teachers to teach these learners and to encourage them to stick to um, maths and physics and mind you we are speaking of learners who have the ability or, or who, who have um, those skills to take these subjects um, obviously uh, you you have learners who opt to go uh, to FT colleges or, or to go for um, vocational training instead or to you or, or to go into drama or other streams where maths and physics might not be needed but in fact we're speaking about those learners who might have wanted to continue with maths but just found due to um, the, the, the pressures and especially with, pan, with the pandemic, as I've heard from the education MEC, David Maynard, he said that the pandemic has also led to many grade 10s and 11s. Last year, especially, there was an increase in the number of learners um, dropping maths simply due to um, the pandemic's impact when you're looking at that rotational timetable that many schools implemented. And this just led to that um, gap 
where that, that alert teaching and learning gap where learners just struggle to keep up. All right, Monique Mortlock, live for us in Cape Town. Let's leave it there for now.